Union Center in Albany, New York. Yeah. Welcome to yet another edition of The Rebound. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mario Hirsch-Gordon, joined alongside Quinnipiac men's basketball beat reporters Dylan Fearon and Andrew Badillo. Uh, Quinnipiac falls in the first round of the MAC tournament tonight, 80-74 to to the 11th-seeded Maris Red Foxes. Gentlemen, let's get right down to business. Maris came out red hot, 13 for 19 from three. Andrew, was that the key? Yeah, I mean, Mori, you saw it with this team all year. They were hurt. They were, it's just they were they had six wins on the season. Khalid Hart, TJ Curry, and Siobhan Lewis were all hurt at certain points of the season, and you saw it all come together tonight. They were healthy. They were shooting the ball really well from three. I think they started six of seven, which is unbelievable. They really surprised this Quinnipiac team, who I thought came out a little flat at the beginning, and it ended with Maris coming out on top and advancing to Manhattan. More we talked about before the game that Khalid Hart and Chavonis are going to get theirs. They're going to have 20-point games. They're going to have 10-plus rebounds, 10-plus whatever. But Quinnipiac has to contain the other role players. T.J. Curry cannot have 10-plus points. Philip Lawrence cannot have 10-plus points. And what happened? Philip Lawrence has 11 points midway through the first half. I mean, it was unbelievable. They started 8 for 9 from 3. Philip Lawrence started 4 for 5. It was a great performance from Maris, and, and give him a lot of credit. You would expect that, that the hot shooting would slow down eventually, and yes, it did towards the second half. Quinnipiac found their momentum, got cut the lead to 60 to 59. They were just down but one, but what was the difference uh, that the Quinnipiac couldn't get couldn't get over that hump? Tom Moore alluded to it in the post game. Once they got on that run, they needed to get another stop and another bucket, and it just didn't happen. They'd miss two jump shots, and then Maris would go down the court and hit two jumpers in a row to cut the, to extend the lead from one to five. Then it went to three, then back to seven. You go back and forth. They couldn't ever get the the lead back after it was four nothing. Andrew, what have these six seniors meant to Tom's Moore, Tom Moore's program? Uh, Evan Conti, Zaid Hurst, Usman Drame, Justin Harrison, even the two walk-ons, Manny Binyam and Isaiah Wood-Smith. Well, I mean, the core four is Evan, Us, Justin, and Zaid. I mean, those guys mean everything to meant everything to this team this year, especially with Gio McLean going out early in the season. Uh, just words can't express how much they meant to this team. And really, going forward, this team is going to have to do a lot of scrambling to find replacements for those players. Those players help this Quinnipiac Bobcats team basically become the best rebounding team in the country. And you look at what you have left. You have Sam Digba, Sam Digba, AJ Sumbri. I mean, well, the front court is going to be Chase Daniels and Sam Digba. We're looking at the back court. Gio McLean's finally, he's going to be eligible next year. He's going to play uh, one year at Quinnipiac. You're going to have Aaron Hutton in the back court. Dimitri Flores had a spark in the second half for this team. He's going to be back next year. You're losing core four players, but they're not, they're not down and out. But, but Dylan, I mean, you look at these players. Where is the scoring going to come I, from? I, I hear you. I hear you. James Ford Jr. is going to be back for his senior campaign. You're going to have Aaron Hutton who can shoot. Joe McLean is a big-time scorer from what we've heard and what we've seen. They're, they're going to be all right. They're not going to fall from the 6th seed to the 10th seed. They're going, to stay, they're going to stay on their own course. With the loss, Quinnipiac finishes the regular season and postseason 15-15 uh, and 15 overall, 9-11 and 11. Uh, conference record, sixth place uh, in the MAC during the regular season. One of the names that I didn't hear about next year was Dimitri Flores. Uh, he was a spark in the second half, Dylan. Yeah, he was. Uh, he had a couple of threes back to back to get this team back to one. Uh, he had a block. Uh, he was really good defensively, just didn't make the right decisions late when he was on the court because it was either him or it was going to be Aaron Hutton. He didn't really have anyone else because Sim Chandler out with an injury. So really, Tom Moore didn't have much option in the, in the backcourt. Andrew, one word to describe this season. Pretty inconsistent, uh, very underwhelming. I mean, I didn't really expect much coming into the season, especially after McLean went down. I mean, last year they lost Ike Azatam, who was a tremendous member of the team last year, Umar Shannon as well. So I didn't really expect as much coming out of this team this year. So pretty underwhelming. Dylan? Average. I mean, you're 15 and 15. You finished six in the MAC out of 11 teams. That's average. I mean, they, they didn't uh, meet my expectations, at least. I thought they'd be a, t a top four seed. They'd get a bye, and they'd compete in the MAC tournament. And just didn't see it. Quinnipiac loses to Maris tonight in the first round of the MAC tournament, 80 to 74. Guys, thanks uh, so much for your insight. For more information, uh, you can follow Q30 Television on t on Twitter at Q30 Television, and follow Q30 Sports on social media on Facebook and Twitter at Q30 Sports. Don't forget to check out our website at Q30Television.com. You can find Andrew Badillo at Andrew Badillo 99. You can find Dylan Fearon at Put the Fear On and myself at Mahersh, M-A-H-H-E-R-S-H. Guys, that does it here from the Times Union Center in Albany, New York. Have a good night.